so today I am going to meet Sherlock Sam and the Hershman and the missing Harlan in Cantoon. Now Sherlock Sam has eight books. And in each video I'm going to read one chapter. So let's start with Sherlock Sam and the missing Harlan in Cantoon. Chapter one. Just one final tweak here. I put the screw diver down and sat back to admire those trips to the robotic learning laboratories at the science center with Dad. Sure came and useful. Now what we'll try and name him? Maybe Mega? No, no, no. Disappointed? No, wait. Turmalin? No, I've got it. Mega destroyed Henico Bot. I flicked the robot switch. What is my name? The robot said in a mendical noise as it came to life. What, son? Dad said, popping into my room at exactly the wrong time. My name is Watson, the robot repeated. Dad, what have you done? I yelled out in honor. What, son? Mom said. Come in, eat. Dinner's ready, Dad said. Oh, dinner! Why didn't you say so earlier? Come on, Watson. I said. I went to the kitchen. Mom is making chicken rice, one of my favorites. Can I have the drumstick, please? I asked. Cannot. Too so chubby already. My big sister Wendy said. Wendy was a year older than me, and she was the artist in the family. We got along sometimes, mostly when she needed her help when she needed help with a Chinese homework. It's okay, he's a grown boy. Dad and I spent lots of time together. He's an engineer and very smart. You can take one drumstick, but less rice. Mum cooked super delicious food all the time, but never gave me enough. I didn't understand why. I'm a growing boy after all. I'm Sherlock Sam. Well. My real name is Samuel Tan Sherlock. In case you shouldn't tell, Sherlock Holmes is one of my heroes. And I want to be a great detective like him. Does robot need his own play, Sam? Play, Sam? My mom asked. My family was no longer su surprised when my invention turned out at dinner table. In fact, some of my earlier correct creations were used by the family often, like a homing device I created for the TV remote control that mom was always misplacing. My name is Watson, Watson replied. Watson, would you like to try my chicken rice, mom said. Mom stayed at home and her job was to take care of all of us. She was a fantastic mom. No, thank you, Watson said. I only eat Batteries. His name is Watson? Clever Sherlock. Wendy sniggered. Actually, Dad named him, I mumbled, bitching into my drumstick. I did? Clever me. When did I do that? Dad asked. Dad was super intelligent, but Mom said he lost his own world. One time, Mom asked him to buy broccoli and he brought back cauliflower. He thought it was unripe broccoli. Don't forget we're going to meet Auntie Kim Land with co tomorrow with kids, Mom said. Can I not go? I always have to look after Sherlock, Wendy said. It's Sherlock, I mumbled again, claiming all of my drumstick. Sam, what can Watson do? Uh, can I tell you later? May I have a another drumstick, please? I didn't want to reveal my master plan in front of Mom. After we finished dinner, Dad came to my room. He placed the couple of books on my desk. So, what did you want? What did you didn't want to say in front of Mom? Watson can set his arms and legs to reach farther than you and I can. I whispered, leaning close, just to be careful. Or higher places too? Dad whispered back. See, Dad's very smart. Yeah, higher places too. Sam, just make sure Mom doesn't catch you. Dad stood up and turned around. And if he does, she continued in a whisper, this conversation never happened. We grinned at each other. Right, this conversation never happened, I said. 
So, what books did you get me this time, Dad? Dad immediately beamed. He loved talking about books, especially treasures he found about second-hand bookstores. I got you a comic on Logic called Logi Comic. Cool. Does it have math in it? I asked. We didn't find out, Dad replied, grinning. And did you get me that other book you promised? I whispered, turning to check that the door was closed. Dad ruffled my hair and tossed me the book. Remember, this conversation never happened, he said as he left the room. I clutched a new Batman comic happily. Too many people thought comics were just to vend things for kids to read, but comics were so much more. Batman was my hero because he used his detective ability in great intelligence to battle crime. He's such a great detective. He even stars in detective comics. Later that night, I took Wolston for a test run. We snuck into the darkened kitchen. Wolston walked over where Mom kept her secret, secret tin of corn grain biscuits high up in the cupboard. Corn grain biscuits and he extended his legs. My favorite biscuit was double chocolate biscuits. I made sure Wolston knew which one to target first. When he, as he was opening the cupboard, we heard Wendy's store open. What's it? I whispered. Hide. I knew this could be trouble, Watson said. Shush, I grumbled. I slid under the dining table and Watson restrapped his legs while holding on to the cupboard door. Wendy walked into the kitchen and went to the refrigerator. Suddenly, she stood up straight. She looked at the cupboard, but Watson was pulling himself into the cupboard before he was being seen. That was close. Wendy shrugged and poured herself a cup of water. After her bedroom door closed, I breathed a sigh of relief. Watson, I called softly. Where are you? He opened the cupboard door and extended his legs down to the floor. We quickly snuck back to the, my room. Watson, please pass me the bix, biscuits, please, I whispered. You have already eaten two drumsticks. Why are you still hungry? Watson questioned. Shush, I replied. Watson pressed a small, a small button located to his stomach. A secret storage space opened, and inside were my favorite double chocolate biscuits. I didn't tell Dad about the secret com compar compartment. The less he knew, the less Mom would torture it out of him. Munching happily on my biscuits, I patted Watson's metal head. I, I was starting to like his new invention of mine. We were going to be good buddies, I could tell. Do not get crumbs on the bed. I do not want ants in my carcass, Watson said. Then again, maybe not. So that is the end of the chapter. If you want to hear more about this book, listen to the next chapter.